Scott, you said pot up or pot down? It's supposed to be pot up, but I think either way would look okay. Okay, so the uh, fan favorite for which plane to build next, uh, which I think my good friend Bob Parks uh, skewed most of the voting to see if I could do it, is the B-Wing, um, which looks like some sort of uh, fever dream of uh, Burt Rattan's that happened to make its way into George Lucas's mind. <laughs> Designers do. <laughs> and sometimes they fly. I mean, he probably sees you well enough from his perspective that he knows he's not going to hit you. There you go. That yeah, works. It's a little weird. Initially thought that this was going to be quite challenging. Um, so where I usually go rather small in my builds, I went much much bigger this time, um, so I could fit all the features into it, uh, most notably the rotating and the wings moving, um, which just is, is easier when the when the plane gets bigger. Um, so. Uh, Right here is the result of a weekend's worth of fiddling. So here, I have to zoom out a little bit more. So here is uh, the boilerplate rendition of a B-Wing. I'll show you guys videos of it doing its airplane thing in a little bit. Um, so this, uh, this, was, this was a bit of a bear to get working. Um, so the, the wings kind of go up and down. Um, there's a wing on the bottom. Uh, it turns out uh, you can make really asymmetric things fly as long as you uh, focus on balancing everything. So, you know, airplanes uh, stay in the air up with some relatively simple principles, and as long as you balance all your forces and moments, um, you can make even very bizarre shapes fly. Um, so since the big one is so big to, to kind of hold and point it out, I'll, I'll demonstrate it on the little one. So uh, it flies like a plane, and I wanted to kind of not cheat by adding any quad stuff and by adding any, you know, fake, you know, clear surfaces. Um, so what I did first was built a little cutout about this big of it to see where it wanted to balance as a glider. Um, and it turns out that the uh, kind of center of all the lifting surfaces is kind of right outside of these wings, which is a little bit problematic because that means that when the wings are like this, the lateral CG is in one position, and when they're like this, it is in a much different position. Um, as a result, uh, you want to have kind of your thrust and your drag uh, balanced about both these things. Um, and so as you move the wings, um, the point about which those moments act changes. Um, so it required a fair amount of interesting mixes, and it also required the use of, uh, of a rate gyro to, to damp out the yaw. Um, so the aircraft is built out of... Uh, six millimeter Defron. Um, I just kind of cut it out by hand this time and, and sharpied it. Uh, I'll be doing a nice cleaner one um, now that I got this one flying. And then you'll see here where the battery is, is that's where the lateral CG is. Um, and so there's two motors equally spaced off of the lateral CG. And then there's a little uh, old helicopter rate gyro 
um, that balances those two uh, to control yaw. So there's no vertical surfaces on the aircraft um, when it's in uh, kind of cruise mode. Um, and all the control comes from little elevons that are on either side. And so the elevons are equal area, equal distances from the CG. They're not um, equal distances from the CG for aft. Um, so this one has slightly less moment in pitch than this one does, but uh, it, it still flies reasonably well. Um, and so uh, I'll show you guys a little video of the prototype flying around, and then I should be updating next week sometime with the kind of finished version of it. But that, you see the whole thing? Maybe. Um, that is a B-Wing, and it flies like a plane. So uh, take that, Parky.